for today's video, we will answer a geometry challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this right triangle with one leg equal to 4 times n raised to over 3, and the hypotenuse equal to 5 multiplied by n raised to 2 over 3, and also given that the area of this triangle must be equal to its perimeter, then the question is what is the value of n? Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. All right. So, given this right triangle with the side length, one side or one leg must be equal to 4 times n raised to over 3 and the hypotenuse equal to 5 times n raised to 2 over 3. Now, by observation, the third side must be equal to 3 multiplied by n raised to the power of 2 over 3. Now, the reason is we have a right triangle 3, 4, 5. But we need to prove that this third side must be equal to 3 multiplied by n raised to 2 over 3. Now, let's do that. To start with, um, this n raised to 2 over 3 is very annoying. So let's replace this by another variable and let's call this as s. So we can replace all n raised to 2 over 3 as s, like this. So the hypotenuse becomes 5s and this the other leg becomes 4 times s. Now let x be the length of the third side. And then now since it is a right triangle, we can now use the Pythagorean theorem. So this will give us x squared plus 4s quantity squared equals 5s raised to the power of 2. Now let's simplify. 4s raised to the power of 2, this will give us 16s squared. 5s raised to the power of 2, this will give us 25s squared. Now let's subtract 16s squared on both sides and this will give us a value of 25s squared minus 16s squared. This will give us 9s squared. So we have x squared equals 9s squared. Now let's get the square root on both sides to get the value of x. Now we don't care to the negative value for x because x is the side length of this right triangle. So we have a positive value for x only. Now, the left-hand side of our equation is just x. And the right-hand side, square root of 9s squared, this will give us 3s. Now, we can say that the value of x must be equal to 3 times s. Since s must be equal to n raised to the power of 2 over 3, so we can say that the third side is really equal to 3 multiplied by n raised to the power of 2 over 3. Alright, so now let's continue. Next, we are given also that the area and the perimeter of this triangle must be equal. So now let's take first the area of this triangle. So the area must be equal to 1 half times base times height. So we can use this because our triangle is a right triangle. We have the base and we also have the height. Now let's substitute all those values. We have the area must be equal to 1 half times 3s times 4s. Now 3s times 4s will give us 12s squared and divided by 2, this will give us 6s squared. This is the area of this right triangle. Now how about its perimeter? So the perimeter is the sum of all sides. So it must be equal to 5s plus 3s plus 4s. Now 5 plus 3 plus 4, this will give us 12. S. Now, take note that the area and the perimeter of this triangle must be equal as given says. So we can now equate 6s squared to 12s like this. And now we can now solve for the value of s. To do that, let's subtract 12s on both sides or equate this to 0. Now, we can now factor out 6s because 6s is common in these two terms. So if we factor out 6s, we have something like 6s multiplied by s minus 2. Again, if we multiply 6s to s, this will give us 6s squared. And if we multiply 6s by negative 2, this will give us negative 12s. And we go back to the original equation. Alright, so let's have the factored form. Now, since it is equal to 0, we can say that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So, we can say that 6s equals to 0 
or s minus 2 equals 0. Now, let's solve for the value of s. On the first equation, 6s equals to 0. Let's divide both sides by 6. We surely get s equals 0. Now, on the second case, s minus 2 equals 0. Let's add 2 on both sides and we get that the value of s must be equal to 2. Now, take note. S cannot be equal to 0. The reason, if S equals to 0, take note that the length of our right triangle must be all equal to 0. So, we don't have a triangle. Therefore, S cannot be equal to 0. Therefore, S must be equal to 2. Now, let's get the given again that S must be equal to N raised to the power of 2 over 3. And... Let's replace all s with n raised to 2 over 3, going back to our original given. And now, let's solve for the value of n because the value of n is what we want to find. So, we can say that n raised to 2 over 3 must be equal to 2 because they are both equal to s. Now, to solve for the value of n, what we're going to do is to raise both sides by 3 over 2. Now, the question is why we do that, because we will use this law of exponent. If we have b raised to the power of a raised to the power of c, it must be equal to b raised to the power of a times c. Now, the left-hand side of our equation becomes n raised to the power of 2 over 3 times 3 over 2. Now, take note, we can cancel out 2 on the numerator and 2 on the denominator. 3 on the numerator and 3 on the denominator. Therefore, the left-hand side is simply equal to just n. Now, on the right-hand side though, 2 raised to 3 over 2, this can be written as follows. If we have b raised to the power of a over c, this can be written as the c root of b raised to the power of a. Now, since the denominator is 2, so this automatically a square root. So, this becomes square root of 2 raised to the power of 3. Now, 2 raised to the power of 3 or 2 times 2 times 2, this will give us 8. Now, we can simplify this more because 8 must be equal to 4 times 2. And we know 4 is 2 squared. So, we can simplify this further as 2 multiplied by the square root of 2. And that is the value of n. Therefore, our answer to this question, given this triangle with one side, 4n raised to 2 over 3, and the hypotenuse 5n raised to 2 over 3, given its area equals to its perimeter, then the value of n must be equal to 2 times square root of 2. And as always, we are done.